So Hemda's all beaten up, and she happens to have people from France visiting she, through some app, you know, mm-hmm. a, a house exchange. But she doesn't want to go, yeah, my face is all fucked up because I got robbed a block away. Welcome to New York. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, they have, a, uh, they have a good time staying at the house, and they left a review of Hemda's home, right? Mm-hmm. And they wrote in French, but, you know, we're, we live in the future, so we can figure out what it means. Hemda is really adorable. And did everything to make our stay a success, which was the case. Foot has unusual and original land for explore New York. I don't know. Okay, so I guess lost the, in translation. The translate is in a thousand yeah. percent. Sounds he- good though. Hemda is the welcome has Le- Leon when she wants to. Oh, Leon is the place where they live in France, and so they're saying oh, so that I could welcome. I could visit any time. Okay. Yeah. Communication five stars. Okay. Home matches description. Six stars. <laughs> Is there six stars? So communication. No, there's oh, only yeah. five stars. Oh, okay. Yeah, five stars. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so communication was not so good. It's very good. Yeah. <laughs> we spoke different languages. Okay, you're right. Home matches description, five stars. Cleanliness, two stars. It's because of your dirty, busted up face? This, I don't know. This offended Hemda so much. I got so upset. And I, I, I was... I knew that they would leave me a good review because I, I can tell that they actually, I really was in good communication with them. I even helped them get into communication with the next person they were staying in. And I, I know what it's like to go to a different place and the host doesn't respond or whatever, like something doesn't happen. I know how much they needed that. So I was in communication. Now, the day after the thing happened with my bike, I had it on my schedule to really tidy up the house, but I feel like I have been on top of it I couldn't get to do anything. And um, and then they, they arrived the next day. And I'm like, yeah, the, the place looks decent. You know, my place pretty much now always looks decent. And this hurt my feelings so hard. Like, I could cry thinking about it. And then I'm like, why is this affecting me so much? I know it's not just them. Like, I know that I could just be like, go fuck yourself. I don't know. You don't know what New York apartments are like. like well, I, could, mm. I could say anything. But it was so sincere. It's like, what would make you do two stars like if something was off like if there was a smell or something i would even go four stars you know three stars but two stars two stars means i feel like i haven't cleaned my place in a while and i'm extra annoyed because i'm like well one of you actually had really bad bo so how could you even know cleanliness so I, i start going in that direction i'm like me cleanliness where do I, I look for a review where I could fucking rate their fucking cleanliness? <laughs> I was like, when do I, where's my fucking stars that I get to? I was, I was just getting, I was getting in a tizzy and I'm like, okay, there's a saying, if it's hysterical, it's historical. Okay. So <laughs> if something like a two star review gets to you, it's not the two star reviews. Like if I'm getting that mad, it's because there's a history here that I'm upset with. So I'm like, what's the history? And it's because, you know, Hennessy and I just separated. And one of my biggest worries was that I can't do what we did together as one person. And I thought they were insulting what I was doing as a single person. You know, like, because I I was, it's so hard to keep up because I'm so used to for nine years, you have like, you know, I'll do the dishes and you do this and I'll pay this and you do this. And there's like this oneness now that I have to deal with. And I'm like, you fucking come into my house and you tell me that I'm not cleaning it. I clean it every day. I'm on top. It's like, I'm getting so emotional right. because they're telling me, you know, that good job that you were doing, you're not. Is your voice wavering right now? Yeah, I'm about to cry. Mm. Wow. Because, because it's the history of, I was on myself already. Like, I won't be able to do this. I won't be able to live by myself. I won't be able to undo the codependency and the 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 togetherness that I had and like the whole thing, I can't believe this. And so I just, I was like, oh, okay, this is another part of the heartbreak. Plus these people are never fucking invited back into my house again. Picture this, Kyle, me as a psychiatrist. (laughs) Are you crying? Wow. (laughs) Over this. Wow. Okay. First of all, I would be so, uh, uh, somebody wrote, if somebody wrote two stars about cleanliness, I'd be like, what fucking weirdo rates two stars for what? Right, that's how I should have responded. <laughs> you know, that's how I should have yeah. responded because I know, like, there. But it's something you've been trying so hard to focus on on yourself, and something that you that this 
when when you lose something like that or something like that in your life changes that it's you see these changes in this way that like reflect on you and on the other person on the whole experience and how it ended and how it started and all these things and they kind of just poked that right yeah so, yeah it was I, just it was exactly yeah. what i didn't need to hear because yeah. i was so proud of myself like i put it into my morning routine i i do like you 10 should minutes. be proud of yourself i i still am like after i after i went through the whole thing i'm just like no, I can't do everything. I'm three months out of a nine-year relationship, and I got some adjustment to do, but I did wake up before six naturally this morning, and I cleaned up for over an hour because I'm like, maybe there's something that I didn't see, and especially because yesterday I go, Keith, you were just at my house. Is it that bad? And he fucking paused. And I <laughs> three was like, stars. Three. Yeah. I was like, fucking hell. <laughs> and then I, and then, and then I. I didn't know it was. A, <laughs> I, I thought it was a real question. You know, some of these yeah. questions. And then what I noticed, I was like, I raised my eyebrows, and I'm like, Are you fucking kidding me? And then I was like, What are you doing, Hamda? You just asked someone yeah, for the truth. Too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, Well. I did clean up a little bit before the game. Well, what did you see? Was it just piles of paper? Because if you're upset about my piles of paper in some places... You know when okay. people set you up like, right. was my place a mess? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I think things were around. It's like, okay, things were around right. or it was dirty. And I'm like, well, the, the, whatever the good one. Or, what, Andrea? Fucking get on mic already. You're such a fucking bitch. Come on. I have to call you that word right now because you're pissing me off. Let's go. I haven't used the word bitch on a woman in a fucking year. Get on mic. You can't. Damn it. Is Andrea doing the uh, shrug and yes! eye roll like who knows what's up? Yes. Well, I, I understand, like, when you're talking about Kyle, about control, the way that she feels, that's how yep. I feel about cleanliness. So I'm aware that my obs- obsession with cleanliness is, you know, bordering on a mental illness. Right. Like, so- she only has so much control over people at the gym she manages she only has so much control doing comedy she only has so much control quite frankly over her children but a duvet has (laughs) a place and an answer oh when it's cold and crisp (laughs) and tight on the bed i love her i just want i also want to point out this is this is andrea's fucking neuroses and i get that like we are fighting a battle here because your brain is different than mine only in this way i feel Mm -hmm. and so i can tell when andrea had a neurotic night when my fucking desk gets moved around because what she has to organize my goddamn papers right Ugh. right anyway. because it's not to help you though it's to help her get through some problems she had by the way kyle stick around it sounds like there's gonna be a job opening <laughs> <laughs> well i when you were saying you got a two-star review i was writing like oh oh shit and my messages to you like ah motherfucker and then you're sort of crying about it. you're upset about your ah you could still laugh at me i mean come on made me feel like a dick um <laughs> Hamda, God. Andrea, <laughs> yes. you have walked into my home and said, oh, it looks better. Yeah, sure. Recent, how recent? Recently, it looks, I mean. Two stars, does is, it look two stars? This is walking through fucking landmines here. Oh, just here. fucking. No, it, I mean, I don't, it's a pet, like, people have, like, if, if I had my way, if I sure, had but all you don't. the time in the world and my way, I would live in a room with perfect, impeccable white walls and everything in its place. But we're busy fucking people. So usually our house reflect, like, how much time and effort that we have. I've been really impressed. Your place looks fucking great. I've been to your place and you yeah. look very busy. <laughs> yeah. And that's great. <laughs> no, it, it really does look really great. And I know that you're, like, excited that you're able to keep it in this, you know good condition if if we all lived in psycho world then oh my my place would still not be as clean as you want exactly i don't give a fuck so like why are you know why are you asking i'm asking (laughs) if it's two stars because to these people it's two stars you know what i mean people who one of them i was like nervous that they would smell up my place these people are giving me two stars I don't know these. I people. feel bad because I hope no none of them are listening because I still like them and I just I know it's my neuroses. But two fucking stars. Do you want me to come over to your house? I and, do. And, I'm not kidding. And tell you how clean yes. it is. Yeah. Oh, this sounds I'm, fun. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. Yes, I would like an honest rating, not on an Andrea scale, well, but on an Andrea scale. What do you like? What, uh, can you could that can you try mean? to be human <laughs> and not like okay? Pretend you're not going into a hospital. Sure. Um, I don't have the best memory, but. And I also don't want to die by your hand. <laughs> so three and a half. Okay. 
Yeah. I'll take three and a half. Uh Uh-huh. And fear in your eyes. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. You did call me a bitch. (laughs) I did. So. Okay. I I lost a half a point there. Yeah. Okay. I apologize. If you're one of these people that would leave two stars, because that's the truth. Yeah. I helped you so much. You're a weirdo and no one likes you. Nobody likes you. But it is two. They have to know. That is a character flaw and Mm -hmm. you were born bad. It's unredeemable. It's unredeemable. Mm -hmm. When I was in LA, me and Emily stayed at an Airbnb for the portion of the time that we were there together. And we had like kind of a kerfuffle with uh, the hosts. Like the, the, the woman in the couple was really stressed out because of her job. And she freaked out at us for recording in an area of the house that we didn't know that we weren't allowed to record. And like, it was a bad experience. But when it came to the review time, I was like, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to say anything because like it truly hinders your ability to like make money as a business and also my ability to get like places if I have a bad reputation on that site. So I'm like, I'm going to wait and see if she says something fucked up. And then if she says something fucked up, I'll like stand up for myself and be like, they don't show you first. They They say you can see the other persons. If you review theirs, do they? For so maybe she, maybe she yeah. wrote a fucked up review. I didn't see. I don't think that we either reviewed each other. Like mm. we both were like, all right, we didn't get along, but we don't need to be like fucking up each other's ratings over it. It was more of like a personal. I could also tell that she was really stressed out. Like it seemed like she was. I'm like, this was a bitchy fucking yeah, consideration move. Oh, hey, but- assholes. I am icing my knee and my face in front of you. Yeah. You don't. I don't even know how to explain what happened because. I kind of said it, but they don't really understand fully. And there's only so much conversation. You know, I'm still telling them where to go in the city. I don't want to get into my life, but I am icing my knee in my face. So Mm -hmm. fuck you. Maybe your face was dirty. Yeah. Was Mm -hmm. there blood? (laughs) Everywhere? No. Mm -hmm. No, I cleaned up the blood. Are you leaving your tampons all over the place? Yes. Like a mess? (laughs) Yeah. Drawing on the walls. Your weird feminism shit. I said welcome Uh on the walls with it. Sure. There we go. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Andrea. You're welcome. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good luck, Kyle. No, it's, to- it's totally worth it rolling your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even roll them. You don't even know. <laughs> you're a slob. <laughs> she said, you're a slob. Bye. That could have saved us some time. <laughs> and then ran three feet to her corner. That's <laughs> <laughs> the only time Andrea's like, scared of me. Keith and the girl dot com. Are you subscribed to this channel because you just watched it and I think you liked it because you got to the end of the video. So I just really think you need to subscribe. And by the way, while you're at it, right next to it, there's like a little bell. Totally not going to hurt. I promise. If you hit the subscribe button and the bell, your life will be thumbs up.